first functional rapid-fire weapon was the Gatling gun. Invented by physician Richard Jordan Gatling in 1862. But the rapid-fire killing potential of Gatling's weapon was limited by its rather impractical design. That is why we pay you. Come in, come in. Uh, Chief McBrusk, have you two met? God bless America! Um, no. Sasha, Sasha. Uh, we support Dr. Dithering's research as part of our public uh, commitment to culture, but, um, yes, just in case the good doctor digs up something we might like to keep for ourselves. The Gatling gun was largely abandoned by 1883, when another American, Hiram Maxim, invented the first completely automatic weapon. I know you're not my dad, but can we still go to the father-child camp out together? Have you ever been on a camping trip? Just because I'm on the run don't mean I can shirk my hosting duties. Now let's see, where are we in the show? Oh yeah, in 1860, the Pony Express began a speedy mail delivery service between Missouri and California. Engineer, deploy a teleporter here. Now, I suppose you're wondering why I called you all here. This will be my new invention. I'll call it the thing that clicks on over my head when I have a brilliant idea. Yes, my death ray, when complete, will be capable of shooting down 10,000 enemy airplanes 250 miles away. That's pretty great, huh? Well, thank you, ma'am. Calamity Jane thought so, too. What? I just saw you drop it. Yeah. Be quiet, everybody! Uncle Thomas is trying to think! Thank you. You're welcome! The automatic firing system of the Maxim machine gun consisted of an action, a reaction, and an action. When a round fired, it produced a recoil force that loaded the next round in place while simultaneously ejecting the spent cartridge. We interrupt this broadcast for an important message. Hold on there, sister. I'm Lydia Karaoke Network Sensor. We're having a little trouble with you displaying nudes. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Lydia. The nude figure is an important element of art and a thing of beauty. All the same, we don't want to see this thing of beauty. Let's move on. Get these men out of here. Dad, your eyes. <laughs> oh, 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 I hope you two boys like to wear prison stripes because next week you're off to the gulag! It's not a dress, it's a toga! Toga dress, same difference, Julie? Oh yeah? Yeah! Just remember, if you're worried about your hair, and who isn't these days, use your walkie-talkie to call the no-hair clout closest to you. Do it today! And this is your ID. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, this must be your wallet. I see. We set ourselves up as the workers' champions and protectors. But if we're clever about it, most of them will be the anarchists and miscreants in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Garrett's more fun than a barrel full of rattlers. Okay, kids, we don't have much time, so let's get... Hey, what's going on here? Today, we're gonna play a game I call Jailbreak. Okay, I got me a six-shooter stashed over yonder in the barn. I need one of you young'uns to fetch it for me. Wow, it's great to meet you! Now, sister, I like art as much as the next network sensor, but you're not catching my drift. Oh, you dim bulb! Take back your wallet and I'll rip your arms off! You cannot show nude paintings. <laughs> What's going on? How did they get in here? What's this about poison? Yeah, this can't happen to the I said get rid of them! Dad. All the people. <laughs> I'm glad you're interested in joining the National Gun Association, Peter. Let me show you around. This is our shooting range.
Your attention, please. Today, huh? I'm pleased to announce that my associates and I now control all cheese manufacturing in the tri-state area. Treaties signed by the Indian tribes and the American government were frequently made, frequently changed, frequently ignored, and frequently broken. Okay, moving on. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Hello, friend. I noticed you were struggling with that package. Would you like some help? Hooey! Someday I'd like to be a great writer. It is yours. I am trying to be a good person and return it to you. Yes, sir. He had sold his rapid-fire killing machine to countries that would soon be enemies in the First World War. Even though they were identical in design, the numbers available at the onset of the war were completely lopsided. Kaboom! Move, Snell! Very well! Hide, cowards! I am the Ubermensch! In September 1914, the German offensive into France was stopped at the Battle of the Marne. The Germans, now in a defensive mode, <laughs> demonstrated the tactical importance of the Maxim machine gun. The goddess of love could use some clothes. She looked a little chilly. You are ruining art! I'm cleaning up Phil! <laughs> <laughs> And there you have the midnight ride of Paul Revere and William Dodd and Samuel Preston. I'm Fred Mubble and this has been Midnight Live. rising <laughs> tickling my DNA <laughs> make it stop <laughs> well you see Peter the way we look at it a man's only as big as the gun he carries sign me up Jack and give me the biggest gun you get Ike's no hair club for men advancing the cause of freedom one scalp at a time <laughs> <laughs>